You can use almost any programming language in the cloud, but there are a few languages that stand out from the rest. Let's talk about one of those languages, Go. Go is an open source programming language focused on simplicity, reliability, and efficiency. It was originally designed at Google in 2007. At that time, Google was growing quickly and code being used to manage their infrastructure was also growing quickly in both size and complexity. Some Google engineers began to feel that this large and complex code base was slowing them down. So they decided that they needed a new programming language focused on simplicity and quick performance. And Robert Greisimer, Rob Pike, and Ken Thompson designed Go. Go became an open source project and was released publicly in 2012. It quickly gained a surprising level of popularity and has become one of the leading modern programming languages. Go was originally built for programs related to networking and infrastructure. It was intended to replace popular high-performance server-side languages like Java and C++. Today, Go is used for a variety of applications. It is popular for cloud-based or server-side applications. DevOps and site reliability automation are also a popular way to use Go. Many command line tools are written in Go, and it is even used in the worlds of artificial intelligence and data science. Some are even starting to use Go for microcontroller programming, robotics, and games. But Go really shines the most when it comes to infrastructure. Some of the most popular infrastructure tools today are written in Go, such as Kubernetes, Docker, and Prometheus. According to the 2020 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, Go is one of the most loved languages by developers who use it. Go's own 2020 developer survey seems to agree, with a 92% satisfaction rating by Go users. So why is Go so popular? There may be as many opinions on this as there are Go programmers, but two reasons really stand out, simplicity and performance. First, Go is simple to learn and understand. A popular saying about Go is that you can read and digest the entire Go spec in an afternoon. Many developers who have dived into Go agree, it is easy to pick up compared to other languages. Second, Go is great when it comes to performance. It was designed for automation at a large scale, so Go makes it relatively easy to write high-performing applications. So why should you learn Go? Go is easy. Many developers agree that Go is easy to get into and its code is relatively easy to understand. Learning Go comes with a big payoff in terms of power and versatility. It's a language that can do a lot from infrastructure to the web to data processing. Cloud platforms love Go. Amazon Web Services, Azure, and Google Cloud all give Go first-class support as a major language. So if you're programming in the cloud, Go is a great choice. Go also has a vibrant and active open source community that develops modules and libraries, helps newcomers, as well as contributing to the Go project itself. And according to the 2020 Stack Overflow Developer Survey, Go developers have the second highest median salary in the US at $140,000 per year. So if you're interested in a programming language that can do a lot, has a great community, and is easy to learn, check out Go. Did you enjoy this video? Would you like to see more? Be sure to leave a like on the video and let us know in the comments what other cloud programming languages you would like to see us cover.